Hi friends, welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to talk about Chinese green tea types. How many different Chinese tea out there? Easily hundreds. And we'll just talk about those uh, traditional ones with a long history. Not to mention there are new ones coming out in the recent decades. These different green tea types are defined by process, which means a certain step in making green tea within this uh, green tea type is very, very similar. And consequently, we will find familiar, similar, or common tasting notes in this whole group of green tea. Knowing this is very helpful for your future Chinese green tea purchases once you know your preference. The most popular, the most loved, and most known Chinese green tea type is Andoble pan fried green tea. Chao Qing Lu Cha. Pan fried green tea is very representative in terms of Chinese green tea and one of the most famous one that almost everybody loves, everybody know is Dragon Well Longjing. It's flat in shape and it features that beautiful high aroma of the roastiness. It's a must-have on many people's tea list. Another famous one is Bi Luo Chun. Those tiny curly buds give such a beautiful, beautiful floral with a little sweetness in it. You can taste that roastiness, but it's much subdued compared to Longjing. This Chinese green tea type, as the name suggests, pan fired. So it features that uh, uh, gentle roastiness. A lot of times it tastes like a nuttiness to us. And of course, across the board, there are some that is higher, some is lower, but overall, it gives you that more warming feeling in terms of uh, the green tea realm. Which green tea has the biggest leaf shape? It's Taiping Houkui, and it is a Hongqing green tea. There are other ones that are loved by many, uh, for example, Huangshan Maofeng, so this type of Chinese green tea uses different technique to kill green and dry the tea. Simply speaking, it uses less heat. Consequently, Hongqing green tea preserves more flavor of the fresh leaves. It will be slightly more gentle when you smell the dry leaf. When you taste, you can expect a little bit more uh, gentle sweetness, a little bit of that uh, greener to the grassier side, but not quite raw flavor. I found this kind of green tea really brings me to that uh, early spring misty morning on the mountain. It's a very vivid, very uplifting, but not uh, Shockingly uplifting. You know, Shai Qing Lu Cha is a less known Chinese green tea type. Teas in this category include Dian Qing, Chuan Qing, or Shan Qing. A lot of times, these teas will be further processed to press the tea shape. If you are familiar with the Shen Pu er tea, its early stage loose leaf form is actually belongs to this category as a Shai Qing green tea. Last but not the least, we have Zhen Qing green tea. In China, there is only one tea that kept this steamed green tea process. It is Enshi Yulu. And Yulu is the same name as Japanese tea Jiu Kuru. So Jiu Kuru in Chinese it means Yulu. I don't think they are strongly related, but somehow they have a lot in common. And Enshi Yulu as a steamed green tea, you will expect those umami, a little bit of a seaweedy, um, grassy kind of flavor. Well, thank you for joining me. If you like this video, please give me a like and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tea videos. Until next time, keep steeping!